Right, as I was walking on the way here, Philip, we saw so many people outside with Trump flags. It reminded me of the good old days with the Trump rallies. And as we can see, we have... Representative Jim Jordan, everybody. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Sit. Save that for the president when he gets here, right? Yeah. All right, who's up? Who's next? Who, who is the... No, 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 I know that. It's a different question, different question. Who's the cancel culture? Who's the cancel culture going to attack next? Think about it. Think about it. They canceled the host of The Bachelor. They canceled the start of Mandalorian. They're coming after Fox News, Newsmax, One American News. You see last week they tried to cancel Kermit the Frog and Mr. Potato Head. You see that? They backed off Mr. Potato Head. I think he told him his preferred pronouns were he, his, him, right? I mean, this is scary where the left wants to go. Barry Weiss. Editor at the New York Times, former editor at the New York Times, said, if you engage in wrong think, you engage in wrong speak, you are going to face the digital thunderdome. They're going to harass you. They're going to come after you. They're going to come after your family. They're going to come after your employer. It is sick where the left wants to go. What they are doing to the Constitution. Think about the world of sports in just the last year. Drew Brees said you should stand for the national anthem. He had to go into the thunderdome. James Harden wore a, uh, uh, a back the blue support the law enforcement mask. He had to go in the Thunderdome. Mike Gundy, did you follow this one? Mike Gundy, football coach at Oklahoma State. Remember this? Mike Gundy goes fishing with his family, posts a picture on social media wearing a One American News t-shirt, almost lost his job. Think about that, almost lost his job for fishing in the wrong shirt. This is scary where the left wants to take us, and we have to fight back every single time we see it. Do you have, do you have a functioning First Amendment when only one side's allowed to talk? Do you have free speech when the left controls what can be said? They want to be able to say whatever they can about us, but we're not allowed to talk. They want to be able to lie about us. We're not allowed to tell the truth about them. And you know why I think they really are out to cancel us? You know why they really come after us? They don't like the fact that we tell the truth. They don't like the fact that we point out the double standard. We point out the fact Nancy Pelosi can go to the salon, but we can't. She can walk around the metal detectors. We got to walk through them. Gavin Newsom, Gavin Newsom can go to a five-star restaurant with his family, with the lobbyist. But we can't have our family over for Thanksgiving. Think about this one. Think about this one. January 6, 2017, Democrats can object to the electors, can, can object to counting the electors from 10 states. But on January 6, 2021, Republicans aren't allowed to object to the electors from six states. Jim McGovern. Jim McGovern, on January 6, 2017, Jim McGovern, Democrat Chairman of the Rules Committee, objected to Alabama. President Trump won Alabama by 30 points. So Jim McGovern's allowed to object to Alabama, but Jim Jordan can't object to Pennsylvania, where they went around their legislature, the partisan Supreme Court, the Democrat Secretary of State, in an unconstitutional fashion, goes around their legislature, changes the election law. I'm not allowed to object to that, but Jim McGovern can object to Alabama. Think about this, Jamie Raskin, the lead impeachment manager. January 6, 2017, he objected to Florida. He didn't bring that up during the impeachment debate, did he? The best one is Maxine Waters. You remember Maxine Waters. <laughs> Maxine Waters, Maxine Waters, the same lady who said, if you see anyone in the Trump administration, you create a crowd, you push back on them, you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. Telling, telling Americans to go to other American citizens who serve in our government and tell them they're not welcome in our country. That Maxine Waters, January 6, 
2017 objected to the state of Wyoming. President Trump won Wyoming by 40 points. So the reason the Democrats are so out to cancel us is because they don't like the fact that we tell the truth about them. They like the fact that they can engage in this hypocrisy and this double standard. And who do they want to cancel most? Who do they want? What individual do they want to cancel most? Yeah, the guy who did what he said when he was president of the United States, right? They want to cancel the guy. Yeah, you can clap for the president. You're going to get to do that a lot here this afternoon. They're, they're, they're obsessed with it. They tried to remove him from office before he got there. They tried to remove him from office after he'd already left. It's an obsession with the Democrats. They don't like someone who actually came to the town and took on the swamp. They don't like someone who actually comes to that town and fights for all of us. No president, look, I'm getting old now, I'm 57. No president in my lifetime has done more of what they said they would do than President Trump did during his four years as our president. He, he, he said he would cut taxes, he did. He said he'd reduce regulations, he did. He said he would grow our economy, he did. Best economy in 50 years, lowest unemployment in 50 years. He said he'd put conservatives on the court, he did. Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, Coney Barrett. He said he'd get out of the Iran deal, he did. He said he would put the embassy in Jerusalem, he did. He said he'd bring hostages home from North Korea, he did. He said he'd get a new NAFTA agreement, he did. He said he would build the wall and he built the wall. No president, no president has done more of what they told the American people they were going to do than he did. You know, most of the time people go run for office, they say all kinds of wonderful things at election time, get to Washington, and then they give you all kinds of excuses why they can't do what they told you they were going to do. President Trump got there, he says, I'm just going to do it. Because, because he knows, he knows it's we the people that make this country special. People with common sense who work hard, he knows that he was willing to go fight for us, and that's why the left wants to cancel him. And we can't let it happen. Look, President Trump is the leader of the conservative movement. He's the leader. <laughs> President Trump's the leader of the conservative movement. He's the leader of the America First movement. He's the leader of the Republican Party, and I hope the conservative movement, the leader of the American First Movement, the leader of the Republican Party, and I hope on January 20th, 2025, he is once again the leader of our great country. Our charge. Our charge, our charge, our task has never changed. Our task, our, our, our responsibility, our charge, our task as Americans has never changed. In the next four years, we need to focus on this. Same thing, it's, same thing it's always been. I, I, I think it's summed up in my favorite scripture verse. I've shared this before at this, this same forum. 2 Timothy 4, 7. Paul's the old guy giving advice to the young guy, Timothy. And he says, fight the good fight, finish the course, keep the faith. And I tell folks, I love that verse because of the energy in it. It is a verse, I think, in many ways, written for America. We are not timid folk. We are not wimpy people. We are people who take initiative. We are people of intensity. We are people of action. And our charge is what it has always been, to fight for the values and principles that make us the greatest nation ever, to finish the race, to, to persevere, to never quit, to never give up, and to keep the faith in the blessings God has given this great nation to keep the faith in the people, we the people of this great country who have common sense, who understand you set goals, you work hard and good things happen. 
to, to remember all that and fight for those common sense principles. That is our charge. And if we do that, if we do that, we will hold off the left's assault on our values. We will hold off the left's assault, the cancel culture mob's assault on our fundamental liberties. We will take back the House in 2022. And President Trump, I hope, I hope runs again in 2024. And if he does, he will win. And we will make sure America remains the greatest nation in history. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. radical left pushing their agenda in Washington. Socialism, amnesty, censorship.